You know, these white folks looking at you crazy. That doesn't bother you? It's no big deal. It's a goddamn menace. It's annoying. People looking at me like I'm whatever exactly they think that I am. But, you know, it, it's not like it happens every day. So you saying people don't look at you like that every day? Well, that happens every day. You know, if I go outside or whatever. But it doesn't escalate every day is what, I, is what I'm saying. Is that so? I'm not living in fear. I mean, is there fear? Yeah. Am I living in it? No. What? You were just explaining how none of this affects you. I just, uh... Try not to think about it, I guess. Look, I don't want to waste your time, Aaron, but I saw you at the gallery. Right, yeah, you were at the bar. And I followed you because I think you're very talented. My work? You mean the yarn thing? No, that didn't make no kind of sense. But you, you I get. And I want to take you to a job interview. Oh, no, I don't know anything about bartending. Second job. You need money, right? I need a yarn store to change its return policy. <laughs> Can it do that? Yeah. What? I mean, the pay is good. What is it exactly? Officially, it's a client services firm, but unofficially, we save in the world. I don't really understand. It's easier to show you. Here. Now? Yeah. Okay. You got any medical conditions, heart disease, what? eczema? No, no, why would that be? What? This way. Where are we? Did, did I just black out? I moved us a little. You moved? What? Hey, yo, wait, wait. Hey, Roger. How you doing? I'm probably supposed to start slower with all of this, but there's a recruiting class starting right now, and we got to get you in it. Recruiting for what? Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. Over the next few days, we'll introduce you to our work and determine if any of you are fit for membership. Now, since every education starts with the classics, Let's take a look at some of our most accomplished predecessors. James Crampton, Savannah, 1923. Watch his approach to the work. Shot, sir. Where'd you come from? No, oh, I was just passing through, sir. Oh, should I say, Mr. Avery? Hey, how'd you know my name? Well, everybody in the state of Georgia who likes billiards knows Beauregard Avery. Is it true that you once snapped your cue on the break, then ran the table with one of the splinters? I haven't played since, uh, the war. You done lost your stroke. Excuse me? A billion stroke, sir. You know, they say a uh, man's grip on his cue, like his grip on life. Let me see how you hold it. Now, see, you thinking about whether you gonna miss. Maybe you missed a little bit in your life. But you can't think on that now. Now you got to just close your eyes and get your stroke back. <laughs> Not bad, Miss Avery. 
Not bad. Now, obviously, you'll be using a more contemporary dialect and a lot of other innovations we've made since Jim's time. But he was a master of the fundamentals. So, what did you notice about Jim's approach to the work? He doesn't make it about himself. It's always about the client. Client service first. What else? He's really friendly. That's crucial. Anything else? He's wearing suspenders. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. Marcus Dunham, 1955. Dead man walking! This isn't right, Marcus. Well, boss, it ain't about the life leaving this world. It's about the life coming into it. What do you mean? I know that you and the missus been having trouble making life. I'm just barely scraping by in this job, so it's hard to go home and feel like a man. Now, you listen here, boss. Who snuck me that harmonica so I could speak my soul before I go? I did, but... Uh... That took courage. That was done by a man. So when Mrs. Boss Man look at you tonight, know that she's looking at the greatest man in Kennebec County. What about this one? Anybody else? The spiritual was a nice touch. Perceived authenticity. Your interests and hobbies have to be authentically black as understood by the culture. We're showing the client the parts of ourselves that make them feel good. And nothing more. I'm sorry, you can't conjure yourself a steak dinner. Magic only works in the service of clients. So if he's dieting, mm -hmm. you're dieting. Oh, right, well, if she knows that much, you'll have to do a memory spell. Mind if I take control of your powers remotely? Anything medical requires physical touch. <laughs> Even if he's sweaty, yes. <laughs> no, that's me controlling your powers. This is nice, I like it, yeah. Not too tight, not too tight though. It's got to be nostalgic, but it can't be too sharecropped. Oh, no, of course not. You're not doing roots. How goes? It's, it's really interesting. It's, um, you know, the, the name needs a little updating, maybe like magical Black people, or I guess that doesn't have the same ring, but, uh... What are you trying to say? I'm not sure this is for me. It really has nothing to do with you, and, and, and I'm sure the work makes a ton of sense for you guys. It just seems, you know, for my personal taste. It's a little, um... Please take me home. You ain't going home. Holy... 